Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog with me. Today is Sunday. I feel like you may be able to tell by my voice. I feel like it sounds a little sleepy. This is my first time talking today. But I just woke up. So it was the daylight savings last night, which I'm actually so excited about. Like, I'm so excited that it's finally gonna be light outside for an hour longer. I've been waiting for this one. It feels like for so long. So Jared and I were like, we literally want to celebrate. Like we want to have like a mini daylight savings party or something. But that was literally like yesterday. So it's probably just going to be us tonight, you know, being excited about it being light an hour later. But anyway, welcome back to another vlog. I am going to go to a Pilates class at 11. I have never taken a Pilates class on either Saturday or Sunday. They're always like pretty early in the morning and I'm just not like into that on the weekend. So I think 11 o'clock is the latest class on the weekends, but I usually am not able to get into it. And then today I'm gonna do a little bit of Sunday reset. I have done some things yesterday, like I went grocery shopping yesterday. So that was kind of good to kind of get that going. I got back from my trip, which I talked about in my last vlog. I got back from that on Thursday night. So Friday was kind of a get my life together day, do some cleaning and stuff. And then today I need to kind of finish getting things back in order to like start this week. So I wanna do that with you guys. Hopefully this will motivate you guys if you need to do some laundry or some cleaning or stuff like that, cause I need to. And I'm gonna force myself to do it today. Other than that, we'll see what we get up to this week. All right, just finished my class. That was really hard. It's always hard, but I feel like it was extra hard cause I hadn't taken class in like definitely over a week because I was traveling probably like 10 days or something. So it was extra hard. Oh my gosh. And like so many of the girls are just so good. That was my 60th class. I joined like right around a year ago. So that's not anything great, but I am proud of that. I feel like 60 is pretty good. I'm working my way up to like 100. But some people have seriously done like 200 or 500. Some girls have done 500 classes. And I'm just like... <laughs> Oh my god, but I still feel like it never gets easier. I was thinking about treating myself to a coffee like a Starbucks on the way home But I literally did that yesterday So I think I'm just gonna make one at home and it'll honestly be just as good I was just really extra tired this morning Like I thought that I wasn't tired when I was talking to you guys and then I realized that once I actually got up I was super tired <laughs> so still adjusting today so i'm definitely gonna make one at home but let's go home and make some breakfast make some coffee and start our day i'm craving like cheesy eggs so i think i'll use like two eggs and just make a little maybe i don't want to do pepper i can't decide i think i might just do tomato and cheese and like some seasonings yeah i think i'm gonna save this actually i used to not like cherry tomatoes like at all I was just like, ew, too tomato-y. I still don't think I would want to like pop one into my mouth alone as a snack. Like, it's not like I wouldn't do it. It's just like I want some like cheese with it or something. But I do really like cutting them in half or like in thirds if they're really big and just putting them with salads and eggs. And I just use them a ton now. I used to never buy them. And I use them all the time now. And they're kind of iconic. So isn't that embarrassing that I was that picky, you guys? I know a lot of people like don't like tomatoes though. I do like tomatoes. I just like them on something or mixed in with something. And I, I don't want to eat it like on its own. But I don't feel like that's weird. I feel like tomatoes are like something you put on a sandwich or a salad. But you don't necessarily like eat slices of tomato i mean you could okay i'm not gonna judge you that's a healthy icon i'm gonna do a little bit of butter let that melts jared's mom got me this bagel slicer for christmas and i honestly didn't think i would use it as much as i do i don't know why because i eat a bagel pretty much every day but i have been loving it because even when you buy bagels like this that are like sliced, right? They're not completely sliced through and sometimes it's easy to get it like, like I still use it on bagels that are pre-sliced like this. It's so easy, you just put it in there in the middle. This one's really messy because it's an everything bagel, it gets everywhere. And then you literally just go, boop. Take it off, your bagel's sliced. Okay, I'm gonna see 
season with everyday seasoning. Onion salt. This is my Trader Joe's onion salt. It's just in this decanted container. I still love this stuff, especially for breakfast and eggs, like my favorite. Then a little bit of crushed red pepper, always. I said I was only gonna make half a bagel and then I put, I cut the whole thing and I put the whole thing in the toaster, so we're having the whole thing. Just using a little bit of Smart Balance. Okay, I'm gonna put like half of this on each, whoa, side of the bagel. Give it a little more seasoning. And my favorite, sriracha. What's you guys' favorite hot sauce for breakfast? I pretty much always use sriracha. Not that I'm opposed to other ones, I just like always reach for this. Um, but Jared will do like a different one for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like he's very specific about which one he uses for which thing. What do you guys do for breakfast? I usually just do the littlest bit of sriracha. I'm gonna eat this, watch a little bit of YouTube, and then I'm gonna make a coffee, but not yet. I wanna get some food in my tummy first. Exactly what I wanted today. tackle this I left this from this is all clean laundry it appears yeah we're using the hamper for clean laundry because I ran out of basket space and my two laundry baskets so I am about to conquer this I left it when I was on my trip and it's just been growing and I did more laundry when I got back and it's literally exploding and I've been putting it off for like at least a week and a half two weeks so I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube or maybe Married at First Sight. I've been watching that on Netflix and just conquer this. Let's do this giant mountain of laundry. Now, finally you guys, all done with the laundry. Took me a really long time, but the floor is empty. Okay, I haven't talked to you guys in a bit. Um, I won't lie, my laundry took me like all afternoon because I took like an hour break and I was like super tired and I thought I was gonna take a nap. I just got super exhausted and I thought I was gonna take a nap and then I kind of got back to it and finished it up but that took so much longer than it needed to but I was also catching up and finishing the season of Married at First Sight that I was watching so I was kind of distracted at the same time. I'm actually doing more laundry. I think you might be able to hear because we had a whole nother dirty hamper of clothes. I know I've said this before, but like winter clothes just are, it, the hamper fills up like triple as fast in the winter. I'm sure any of you guys can relate that to laundry. It's just sweatshirts and especially like with Jared's stuff, I find that it's seriously, our hamper fills up in like three days and it's time to do another load of laundry. So that's what we're doing. It's actually already 6.53, I do not know how. It's not dark out. The sunset today isn't supposed to be, well, there's not really gonna be a sunset today because it just started raining, but the actual sunset isn't until 7.47. I was honestly shocked. But anyway, I'm doing a little project like before we have dinner, I'm doing a little drawer cleaning out of these bottom true drawer, two drawers in the kitchen. So I wasn't gonna vlog it, I don't really know why, but I'll show you guys because I actually just started and I haven't even like organize them yet so i will show you guys i don't know why i was like eh, maybe i won't vlog this and I'll, i was gonna show you when it's done but i'm gonna kind of show you like a little bit of the process because why not so i just cleared out this bottom drawer as you can tell i literally just have stuff lying on the floor because this drawer is very close to the ground so i just kind of laid stuff out and i'll put in a before picture of what it looked like because i did take a before picture and then this one, this one's so bad. This is our like Tupperware drawer and it just needs to have a system. Like it's so bad, it's exploding with stuff. Um, and then the other ones I did in a vlog and they're actually still, I mean, still pretty good. You know, like the things are a little moved around in here, but like overall, you know, it's still pretty organized. And I got these drawer dividers, a set of six of them. And then I just put in, they're like adjustable so they can be a little longer. I just got them in a six pack from Amazon. The other ones are over here. I haven't unpackaged them yet. 
I'm gonna do like two per drawer, I think. That's my plan, because I feel like this is a good sectioning off, three sections per drawer. So I'm gonna do the same thing in this drawer, and then this top drawer, I might try to put them in here too, just to have this be a little more streamlined. We'll see. I feel like it's kind of random that my measuring cups are in the back here, so maybe I'll try to move those once I get the drawer organizers into like a separate place, because that actually seems super random to me right now that they're just like by themselves in there. <laughs> I feel like I need like a baking section in one of these drawers. I will show you guys when I have this drawer and the other one done, I'll show you the completed look because I'm hoping it will look a lot better and that these drawer organizers will help. So I'll link these down below. I got a pack of six on Amazon. They were pretty affordable and so far like they're really secure. They're not really moving there and you can get them in other colors too. Maybe I should have gotten white because the drawers were right. I actually don't really know why I didn't. That seems kind of weird <laughs> that I did it, but it doesn't really matter. They're doing their purpose. Okay, guys, I didn't do the top drawer yet. I might do it in a little bit, like, or after dinner or something, because it's almost eight. But I wanted to show you these ones that I did. They look so much better. Now, of course, they're not perfect, but this is real. This is, like, the stuff that I keep in these drawers. So the drawer organizers were very helpful. On this side, I did, like, my lunchbox for work. So cute and reusable storage bags slash just food storage. This is the salad spinner and then our mini Dutch ovens, which we kind of just keep in here because you know, they're not like dishes, but they're kind of too small to be kept with like the pots and pans. I think they look really cute like that. This is where it gets a little random. This is kind of just like how stuff ended up fitting. So it's like some grilling stuff and tools that are not reached for as often. So they're in the bottom here and then like a drainer and a little coffee thing just because it kind of all fit over there so i feel like pretty good about this one and then here's how the food storage one turned out definitely looks a lot better than before there's actually some empty space in here i got rid of a few like of the plastic ones that we just don't really use this is mason jar lids and other lids in the middle here and this might kind of like shift and move i don't really know if i need to keep all these but i figured if i have the space i'll do it for now and then we do have some stuff in the dishwasher so that can probably go like in here like more of these tupperware containers but i feel like it looks a lot better and at least this will hopefully help everything stay in like its little sections then i did all the lids this is all the tupperware lids together i think that kind of needs to stay together so they don't just get thrown in because that's when things start getting like it's a waste of space so that's how they turned out i'm pretty happy with them it's definitely a lot better than before okay guys i organized this drawer as well i think it looks pretty good and i found a little tiny section on the end to put my baking stuff because i do use you know for more than just baking i feel like i reach for these cooking you know the little things but i just didn't have like a place to put them and i want them to be in one of the top drawers so we put that stuff over here napkins and dish towels and dish cloths and then i have the oven mitts and the um pot holders right here and i think I think it works out pretty nicely. I had to switch like how I had these in here, but it's actually nice because I can see what I have instead of everything just being stacked up. So I think this is like a little technique I learned from work, but I think it makes more sense to do like towels and stuff like that. So maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even switch the way I do the napkins to be like that too. Anyway, we are doing a like leftovers slash we're having a bit of a quesadilla party last night we did tacos but tonight we are using our leftover chicken we heated up some refried beans and then we also um, made some mexican rice which we didn't end up doing last night so hopefully this will make it more of like a complete meal tonight we made an avocado crema with sour cream and some lime juice and an avocado guys it's monday uh late afternoon i haven't really vlogged today and i was kind of being hard on myself i was like Lindsay, you haven't vlogged anything today 
But to be honest, there's just like, it's just one of those days that I just haven't been doing that much. We slept in because it was Jared's day off. And I was kind of just like on my laptop for a while. I was booking some travel and doing some work things. And I did my like long shower routine. And I haven't left the house today. I am about to, but like I'm not going out and doing a bunch of things today. So I just decided it's, <laughs> why am I being so hard on myself? I can just continue the vlog like when I have something to chat about. I'm about to go run a couple errands, just boring stuff. I need to drop off like some returns and drop off a Depop order. I love how he just looks at me and listens to me when I'm talking to you guys. Like he always does it. It's so cute, my baby. You could probably come with mama. You wanna come on a little errand day with mama? I think you could probably come since I don't really have to go into anywhere for an extended period of time. Okay, Mama and Squirtle are gonna go on a car ride. muffin with some butter and peach jam and another one of my gorgeous cappuccinos that I shared how to make it in my last vlog. Do I look like a five-year-old today? I kind of feel like I do. I feel like there's not that many short hair hairstyles that are like there's just not that many options compared to when I had my extensions. I could literally do anything. Today I wanted to do little like pigtail buns. They got a little messed up because I went to the chiropractor and I was, you know, my head flings around on the, on the, what's it called? Like the, the thing that you lie on. My head gets kind of flinged around because we like crack my neck and stuff. But anyway, I'm sitting down at my desk. I need to have a productive afternoon. I feel like my brain's just still been on vacation mode like the entire this weekend and I have to be able to like catch up on stuff to be able to start being productive again. So finally finished all the laundry. I feel like that's just how my brain works. And today finally I'm like, okay, let's get back into like some work stuff. So I'm sitting down at my big desk calendar. I actually, ha I think it's because I went out of town on the 5th this month, March 5th. And I, before that I was kind of like rushing with stuff. So I actually haven't filled out my monthly calendar. So I'm putting in some stuff right now. Stuff that I have upcoming is um, on Thursday, I'm going to work, uh, for tidy style. So I put that on the calendar and then I would like to get up, like including this vlog that you're watching right now. My goal that I'm putting out there right now is I want to do three more videos this month. I think it's possible if I was to upload like the 16th, the 23rd and 30th, I think I could do it. I just need to like figure out what video I'm going to do after this one, I guess. If I only do two, like that's okay, but I wanna to try to do three. Also, my mom's coming into town next week, actually next Wednesday, which is really exciting. She's coming to visit and I just am excited to see her. I don't necessarily think she loves being like vlogged. She will, of course, like say hi. If I'm like, mom, say hi, I'm vlogging, but I don't think she would want me to like film a whole vlog around her visit. So I'll probably just stick to like taking some cute pictures with her and like showing that stuff on Instagram story. So I'll probably try and like film one of my videos before she comes into town and one of them after. So today, my big three. I feel like doing a big three for me on especially like days that I specifically want to be productive. I try to do a big three most days. I don't always accomplish it. Sometimes I'll do more than three things, but the big three is like the three main things you really want to get done. Don't make it unattainable. Make it things that you know you have the time in that day to get done and they can even be small things. It could be like unpack my suitcase that I still haven't unpacked. So my big three for today are 
um, go through my emails and uh, go through a contract that I have that I really need to read through because it's pretty in depth. That's number one. Number two is to record a mini podcast for my Patreon. I think I'll probably talk about like a little recap of the girls trip in Cabo and maybe some other things. We'll see. I think it's just going to be kind of like a fun update episode because I feel like I just want to chat. My third thing is to edit a couple of reels. I'm going to try to make two from our trip that I still want to post and I'm a little bit behind. We got back on Thursday, so I kind of need to get to that or else it's kind of like, you know, old content. So that is my big three for today. I know it might not sound like a lot. I'm going to a 4.30 um, cycling class and after that, I'm probably just gonna kind of make dinner and start winding down if I'm not done with my big three by then. Other than that, just continue this vlog. So that's what's on my agenda for today. I'm enjoying my delicious cappuccino in my Waffle House mug. This is so dear to me because we do not have Waffle House here in Idaho. Yeah, I have to just not the same, okay? If you know Waffle House, you know. It's just a vibe. It's just where you go at two in the morning with your friends when nothing else is open and it's delicious. Always is. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna finish off my calendar because there's really still not much written on here. I'm gonna write some, some goals and some things for the rest of the month and kind of just get excited about that stuff and finish up my computer work for a little bit here. So I will chat with you. I'll pull you for a chat, Love Island style, uh, when I'm finishing up. All right, my hair looks a little crazy. <laughs> I just went to cycle and then um, it's raining a lot today, so I'm a little wet. <laughs> Everything's just, you know, a little mess today. But I just went to Albertsons on the way home from my class. I really only went to get one thing, but there's always things that are on my mind that are either on the grocery list or just like, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to be out of that in like two days. So might as well just get it now. So I'll give you guys a little mini grocery haul since I haven't done one yet in this vlog. Um, bagels were buy one, get one free. That's pretty crazy. And we've been eating a lot of bagels. It was only this brand, but I just got everything. And then I got plain because I didn't want to get to everything. So we'll use them. Jared requested these chewy sprees. These are so good. I actually didn't know they had them at Albertsons, but he alerted me. I asked him if he wanted anything, so those are for him. The main reason I went was for these um, mozzarella balls. These are the only ones I could find in the store. I, I couldn't find any others. And guys, this thing, which is like not even all the way filled, guess how much this was? $11. Albertsons is so expensive, but I go there because it's like on my way home. It's pretty close to my house and I just needed one thing. I didn't think it was going to be $11. I feel like at Trader Joe's, this would have been like $5. I need this for a pasta salad recipe I'm going to make. So I kind of was like, ugh. I looked around the store to see if there was any other ones that I might find for cheaper, but this was the only ones I found. Whew. Truly pains me to spend $11 on a thing of cheese. I got this crescent dough sheet. I want to make these little egg bites that are in a crescent dough. They were saved in my Instagram recipes. I have like, you know, you can save posts on Instagram. I have one for recipes and that's pretty much how I make like all my new recipes. I've had one saved for a really long time, which is, which is just like a fried egg or a sunny side up egg in this. So maybe make those this weekend, like a fun little breakfast. I got two red potatoes, which don't look red at all. They don't have a good color. I got three limes. This is only two of them, but that's everything. That's my little mini grocery haul. I got a compliment from a stranger on my jacket inside the store. I love getting a compliment from a stranger. It inspires me to like, I do feel like I'm decent at complimenting people when I'm like something they're wearing or whatever, but it makes me just want to give out more compliments. So that was what I love about compliments. It made me feel good and I was like, now I want to compliment someone else. So yeah. Um, I am actually listening to a pretty interesting epi podcast episode right now. I'm listening to the Kelsey Ballerini episode of Call Her Daddy, which I listen to Call Her Daddy sometimes. I don't keep up with every episode. When there is a guest that I'm interested, I'll usually tune in, but I don't like religiously listen. Um, but and I actually didn't even know. I don't know if I've been living under a rock 
probably have because I think I just have. I didn't know who Kelsey Ballerini was. I've only heard her name the last like month or two because she's coming on a tour stop here. So maybe I'll try to get into her music and try to see her depending on when that is because she's kind of, okay, I've literally listened to like one song so I, I'm not gonna try and, you know, say I know her music but she kind of is giving me a little bit of Casey Musgraves energy, just slightly, you know, like a pop country vibe. So I'm gonna dive in more. Let me know if any of you guys like really like her or think that I would like her. Anyway, this episode is super interesting. She's talking about her divorce. It's called Divorced at 29. I mean, hearing about a divorce is just kind of interesting or a breakup, you know what I mean? Even you can learn things from it, right? So I am really enjoying this episode. Hey y'all, I'm super pink today. I just got this little crew neck and I think it is the perfect shade of bubblegum pink. I love it so much. It's from Everlane. I got it on like clearance. I don't know if they have it anymore, but it's my new favorite thing. I'm probably gonna wear it like twice a week for the next, um, you know, until it's summer. But I'm sitting down with a poppy and a wine glass, which is a fabulous night routine that I like to do or afternoon. Today we're having the watermelon flavor. Sometimes I add a little ice, sometimes I go crazy and don't add any ice, sometimes I make it in a mixed drink. And we're gonna answer some questions because I haven't done a Q&A since sometime in Vlogmas. And you know, that was three months ago and I love a good Q&A. And I feel like this vlog just needs a little zhuzh, you know what I'm saying? Like we need something. I haven't actually looked through and picked the questions. I'm kind of just going to look on the spot and pick some ones that I think would be fun to answer. So. I hope you enjoy catching up with me. I love a good Q&A. First question is from Miss Tashi. She actually has such a cute Instagram. I follow her. You guys should check out her page. She has really cozy home decor and just a beautiful like aesthetic page. And she asked, how would you describe your dream house? I don't know if I've ever been asked this question and I love it. I would like an all hardwood floor home. I mean, that can always be like an adjustment that's made. I want lots of big windows. Ideally, this doesn't really have to do with the house, but like in a perfect, perfect world, I would have some type of a view, like whether that's, you know, being up a little higher. I just would love a home with a view. I am home a lot. So I feel like that would be something that would be like really worth it to me. Other than that, I would love lots of just bright features. Um, the kitchen, I'm not really sure. I want a lot of like stone, <laughs> uh, but that can definitely change. I think I would love some like unique features, like maybe kind of an arch to a specific doorway or something that does feel not like as modern, even though my style I would say is more like modern and clean and um, recent. I would love some touches that are a little bit um, historic as well and like a little bit unique and fun. I think just getting that good light and that I uh, hopefully some type of a view. I guess if we're saying dream, I kind of forgot that that was in there until I reread it. I would say like a beautiful outdoor space, like an indoor outdoor space for dining, grilling, cooking, maybe a hot tub, <laughs> maybe a beautiful garden i think it would be really nice to be able to have my own garden one day since i haven't really been able to do that in the townhomes that i lived in just something that feels bright but also like very calm and peaceful get fit with jen asks what's your biggest ick about yourself lol <laughs> i think this is kind of a funny one and one that comes to mind initially off the bat i mean i totally could have something that's more ickable than this and i'm just not <laughs> thinking of it right at this moment. I'm sure, you know, people in my life would maybe know more than me. But I think one thing I've really been kind of bad at is unintentionally interrupting people. And I think it's just always kind of been something I've done and not a lot of people have called me out on it. And for some reason, I think I just get, this is what it is. It's the part of that and part, I was talking to Jared about this the other day. I feel like that advice people always say of like, think before you speak. A lot of times I really don't. I think I just sometimes like my immediate response when someone tells me something and they're not even like completely done with their sentence. A lot of times it's just, oh, say this, say this. Like, I don't know what it is, but I mean, I think probably a lot of people do that, but I definitely, yeah, kind of interrupt a bit. And I don't think I've been called out on it as much as I 
probably should have so that is something i do think i could definitely work on and improve and just thinking before i speak in terms of like getting the thoughts together and really letting people like finish their thought before i you know jump to chime in right and i think it's kind of hard to do <laughs> um and i've always kind of been that way that like super like i just always have an immediate response right and i don't really think it through a lot of the time so i definitely think is that an ick sesh cats asks favorite tattoo definitely my most recent one i've got i don't mean to like show my foot to the camera but my little <laughs> Is this weird? My little boot, it's upside down right now, but. Yeah, definitely my most recent one. I got that one less than a year ago. To be honest, my other two tattoos, I've made a tattoo experience and regrets video before, so I'll link that in the cards up here. Uh, my other two tattoos, I just wouldn't get again. I'm probably not gonna get them removed, but at this point, I'm just kind of like, mm, rushed into it a little bit. Wish I thought about them a little bit more and a little bit longer. If you wanna hear more about that, you can check out that video. And it's not like a horrible thing. It's not like I'm like, I wanna say I regret them. It's just more, um, yeah, I wouldn't get them again. I feel like maybe some other ta tattooed people, people that have tattoos could relate to that. Just like, oh, I don't hate it. I don't look at it and like think, oh my gosh, I don't really have any real thoughts about it other than probably when I get the same thing again or I would just think about it in a different place, a different font, a different think about it for longer, go to a different artist, so. Nelly Loves You asked, are you still friends with all the YouTubers you are close with in LA? So I will say that I am pretty much still like long distance friends with all the same people. Um, I keep up with all of them still more just on social media and like responding to each other's stories and stuff. And there are people that I will see if I go to LA or something or we're in the same place, like make a trip to see them every, you know, so often or so. But I would say more of distant friends that keep up with each other. And I don't mean that in like a sad or weird, like don't take that any sort of way other than that's kind of what happens to some of your friendships when you move away and you don't live in the same city as somebody anymore. You know, it's like most of my friendships in my life are long distance friendships, like 90% of them. And that's just what happens when you move around a good amount. So yeah, I've lived in like three different places since I was uh, 18, so. My adult friendships have shifted over the years and um, a lot of them are long distance and it's kind of just like picking up on the same page we left off when I saw you last. And um, I think those friendships can also be very beautiful and meaningful and almost it's like the time feels that much more special because it is not time that you get very often at all. Where's my pager asked, what's your favorite thing about Boise? Just moved here and getting acquainted. I actually got a few other questions about like what's your favorite and least favorite thing about Boise or living in Idaho and I always kind of do get questions about that. First of all, welcome to Idaho. I hope that people have been nice to you and that you've been getting, you know, a good welcome. My favorite thing about Boise. I don't know if I could pick one thing. I think if I had to pick just one thing, it would be that it is a lot more beautiful than I expected. Um, there is so much just in the surrounding, like one hour outside of Boise in all directions that is so beautiful so scenic and everything that I like could have dreamed of people don't know about it people don't talk about it and it's so so beautiful and such an underrated gem so I would say that's my top favorite thing other favorite things are just that people are really nice I love Idaho people I love Boise people I mean of course I can't box everyone into that but strangers are very nice like strangers on the street are super nice neighbors are nice and it's just like coming from LA it definitely was a nice warm welcome and a lot of people talk about that like it's not just me so many people say like Idahoans are so so nice and it just feels really like I think I love that it is a big enough city whereas I have everything I need very close to me but it feels like a small town so I would say that is probably my favorite thing and I hope you will have that a similar experience living here. Just Just Helen asks, how has working a part-time job been? And I did get a few other questions, just how's it going? So I wanted to give a little update. Uh, I have done this, I think on my Patreon recently, but I haven't really done it on YouTube. Like I probably haven't talked about work very much since Vlogmas to, to my like recollection. Um, so it is going super well. I will say I'm working less than I thought I would be just because um, this first uh, 
quarter has been pretty slow for you know just a small business that I do work for so it's just been harder to get on the schedule because there is a good amount of like employees and there's more full-time people and I'm super part-time like maximum one day a week so it has been a little harder um, but I am working tomorrow I'm doing my second pantry and I'll tell you guys what I've done so far so I've done five closet jobs this will be my second pantry and then I've done one kitchen job i've been having a lot of fun and it's also been fun to like challenge myself and push myself and ask questions and be that person that is learning from the other girls that have been doing this like you know longer than me and just like being that person that really is like absorbing information and also like trying my hand at it and right like seeing how it goes and taking feedback and also it's been really nice to like see the clients after they see it and it's just been heartwarming and also I think it's been something that's given my life like a new found just something that gives me an extra like spring in my step and all my coworkers are so kind and I'm just excited to get to know them more they're really fun to talk to and we have that common similarity which is we you know enjoy organizing hopefully i'll get to work a little bit more now that things are picking up a little bit more for spring and summer so i'll keep you guys updated but yeah i am working tomorrow i'm pretty excited to do another pantry because i did have a i did really enjoy doing the last pantry i did i don't know if i have like a favorite yet i think i need to do a few more different types of rooms to be able to decide what my favorite has been so far but thank you so much for asking and it definitely has been something that i'm really glad that i did and just made that decision and to do something that I have a passion for that's outside of myself and my like you know business as a a brand myself I guess you could say Jill dot wood asks how do you know if they're the one I would say my answer to this has maybe changed a little bit um, over the years as I have been in a relationship before where I thought I was with the one and later have come to find out that no just but i think you can feel that and have your mind change right it doesn't have to be like oh there's only this one person and i cannot have another one right like you can think that somebody is your one right i mean most of us i would say are pretty like romanticize things in that way at least i do when i like someone you know you you're like well they could be the one right like you just go there so this is the thing for me that i've come to realize um i think you know if they're the one if when you are not together when they're not there if you really just genuinely miss them and think about them and you're like oh i want to be back with them and genuinely like you're a better person or you feel better when you are with them than without them that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the one how do you know i think deep 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 down really if you're super honest with yourself and you remove like what you want this person to be or the idea of oh my gosh i hope i can like marry this person or i'm running out of time i think if you remove those like external factors and really get honest with yourself and you're like do i want to be with this person every day long term does that make me happier than the idea of another person or the idea of being alone or the idea of going back out there in the dating world like if those things excite you more i think that's a sign that you know you're probably not where you need to be and i'm not judging <laughs> listen i've been there okay i've been in denial sis i think that's the main thing i realized being in a very in my opinion a very like calm peaceful adult mature respectful relationship now coming from my previous relationship the biggest comparison is like i beforehand literally like preferred to be alone i didn't want to be together a lot of the time i never wanted to get married i never saw myself getting married which is not a bad thing you guys know i was kind of anti-marriage it's a loaded question i would actually love to hear you guys' 
responses down below so that's what i'm gonna ask sometimes i ask for you guys to comment something down below if you made it this far in the video um comment down below how do you think you know someone's the one and of course you can think someone's the one and they can prove not to be at a later time so i think it's one of those things that is just a gamble i got a couple questions asking if i'm gonna be at electric forest this year the answer is no i'm taking a year off um I just couldn't sleep last year. I had a really good time, but I basically didn't sleep for five nights. I got probably like a total of like nine or ten hours over like over five nights. And it was so, so hard for me to like have energy. So I'm taking a year off. I personally think I'm getting a little old for camping festivals, at least doing GA camping. And I need to figure something else out. I will be very upset to not be there for the first year since 2016 but I need a year off. <laughs> yeah. M. Naomi asks, how has Squirtle been doing? So I have been getting some questions about this or just some people commenting on my videos over the past few months, just being like, I hope Squirtle's doing better and okay. Cause I haven't talked about that in a while, like his health. Um, the last time I updated was July and I'm happy to say he has been doing so much better since July. Um, he has not had a seizure since july 15th so he only had two um i did talk about that in previous videos he has been doing so good and i you know of course i don't want to jinx anything or you never know what's gonna happen but i don't know this for sure but i think i figured out what may have caused it for him and i'm not gonna put that out there just because i don't want to put out information that you know i am not a veterinarian i'm not going to put out something that is going to scare other people i'm not going to do like a fear tactic type thing i believe at this point that we figured out what irritated him to have that happen twice because it was the same thing that we correlated it to both times and he had never had seizures in his life before um and he's eight years old now so um he is doing so much better he's so full of energy even though my little guys ate you guys we are looking for a brother or sister for him we actually have been this wasn't even in the question but people do ask me um we have been since probably november or december been looking to adopt a sibling for squirtle and we're just waiting for that uh the one that feels right i don't want to rush into it i don't want to get a puppy so i want to make sure that um you know it's the right dog so i'm being patient with it but we are looking hopefully some news soon on a little sibling for my eight-year-old son <laughs> but um yeah thank you so much for asking though i really appreciate it i really didn't drink that much of this you guys i didn't even pour out my other but i always get distracted when i'm talking i just really go off on the walls but that is going to be it for the q a um i hope you guys enjoyed i feel like i usually go off in these for like 30 minutes so it's probably long but i do hope you enjoyed i love chatting with you and um let's get back to the rest of the vlog okay we are gonna make this delicious well hopefully it's delicious pasta salad and i am loosely following a recipe but i'm kind of switching up the uh well actually the only thing i'm switching up is the pasta so she used like these shells I'll link the recipe, it's an Instagram reel and she has the uh, details in the caption. I am gonna use tortellini just cause we, that's kind of one of the only pastas we had and I thought it would be good cause they're like a tricolor tortellini. So that is in the pot um, right there, just finished up. Okay, this is the chicken by the way. I just, oh, the juices are coming off so I'm gonna put it down. But I just did it in the instant pot cause it's just kind of easy and you don't have, like it doesn't make any mess. So I just did some olive oil, balsamic, and oregano, and salt and pepper. And I'm just going to let those rest. Once again, I'll put the recipe in the description. And now I'm going to cut my cherry tomatoes and my basil up. I have this huge thing of cherry tomatoes, and she uses two cups. I don't know if I'm going to quite use that much. Maybe I'll use like half this package, like start off with this much and if i feel after i cut them like i need more than i will she just slices hers down the middle some of them are like gigantic so i'm kind of going to just do it based off of their size because i don't want any like gigantic tomato bits but something like you know this size <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so this is personally definitely enough tomatoes for me. This probably comes out to like a cup and a half. Now I'm gonna take some basil and um, this, she uses a cup of fresh basil leaves. I guess I'm just gonna use like the good pieces in here because it's already kind of starting to wilt and stuff. Okay, I chopped my basil. I don't have that much, but I think, oh my gosh, what is going on with the light? Sorry, you guys, I do not know. The sun is setting and it looks oh, really bad. So I have this fresh mozzarella that I showed you guys in my grocery haul. So this is in the marinade. I feel like I might try to use this marinade because uh, this was freaking $11, like I said, and I need to use all of it. But I'm going to have these mozzarella balls and I'm gonna start putting everything in um, a big bowl. This is the tortellini, by the way. Tricolor tortellini, nothing crazy. You could use literally any pasta. She used shells. I mean, this is just what we kind of had. So I'm going to, I think this is around two cups. Okay. But she does use two chicken breasts and I'm just going to cut it into half inch pieces. So little bite sized pieces. I think I'm gonna switch bowls though because I wanna be able to really mix this around. So I'm gonna use a bigger bowl. so good for my work lunch tomorrow. That's like one of the main reasons I wanted to make this. I seasoned the chicken, but I haven't seasoned anything else. So I'm going to use some salt and pepper and dried basil. So I did already use basil, so I'll do a light hand on that. And then this balsamic glaze, which Jared made for me. I just take balsamic vinegar and like reduce it on the stove basically, I think. So let's do a little bit of this dried basil. Some more salt and pepper, especially those tomatoes, like they're just not seasoned at all. So we'll start with this and give it a try. Okay, and I don't wanna go crazy with this balsamic glaze because I feel like we could add this as we're like eating. So I'm just gonna do a little bit just to give it a little, ooh yeah, that looks good. Just a little bit. And then the rest we can probably just put it on the top when we serve it. To give you guys an up close shot because it looks so good and I feel like you couldn't really see it from over there at all. My disgusting, this is the background you guys. Just so you know, that's what it looks like to give you this shot. But um, the tricolor tortellini really did, did it for me. Okay, I haven't tried it yet, but we have all this oil, herbs, and spices from the cheese and I don't really know what else we would do with it. So I'm gonna add, I don't wanna go crazy but maybe like add a couple tablespoons of that. And now I'm going to use my salad tongs, lost some basil there. I kind of wish I had a little more basil. I feel like I didn't use quite as much as the recipe called for, so that was something I would probably use a little bit more of if I had more. All right, time to try it for the first time. Mmm, that's really good. All right, you guys, there she is. In all her glory. That looks so good. Can't wait to pack this in my little lunchbox for work tomorrow and enjoy this for, we're going to have this for dinner. That's how you make it. Hopefully that inspired some of you guys. I think this was like a pretty easy recipe that will last a few days in the fridge and be really yummy. So let me know if you make it. Hi guys. I realized I never ended off this vlog, so I'm going to end off now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
As always, I really don't know how long this vlog turned out to be. It will be a surprise to me as I start editing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you always, as always, for watching. And I will see you guys very soon at my next video. Or if you want to see other content from me and hear my mini podcasts, you can go to my Patreon. If you want more content besides what I post on YouTube, it'll be uh, linked on the screen and linked down below as the first link in the description box. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.